Guys, one of the biggest complaints plumbers get is when customers say that the work has been done, but the plumbers left dust everywhere. During their demolition process, they were using a jackhammer and dust went all through the furniture, the floors, the HVAC system. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to properly contain a space and make you look great with your customers. So the very first thing is you want to protect the customer's floors. Uh, we have these waterproof mats, um, so it's really great for wet, muddy feet. Uh, you're not tracking into somebody else's house. So first and foremost, a nice entry carpet into the workspace. Entry point, you want to have uh, floor runners that go all the way to the work area. We like using ram board really good for cabinets, protecting cabinets, uh, countertops, uh, great for putting your, you know, your tools on. Here we're using a six mil polyplastic. This is gonna protect the kitchen. We use Pam's uh, tape first, and then we roll a very strong duct tape to adhere to the plastic. You can see our uh, plastic containment is up around our work area. All right, guys, if you guys can invest in some air scrubbing devices, uh, this is an air scrubber with a HEPA filtration, really good for particulates. And this bad baby right here is awesome. When you're demoing inside of a small area, uh, it really takes in and extracts all of the dust and uh, holds it into this cloth balloon type and um, it, it, it literally you'll see here in just a moment but absolutely a must when you're demoing you want to make a good impression with your customers these are two great devices that you've got to have okay guys this area right here is where we're going to make the incision on the floor and so um one of the tips that you want to do is you want to double protect the floor that you're not working on this is great for placing tools on there jackhammers it's not going to scratch the floor we're also going to use a ram board area as well. Uh, what that will do is we'll take all of the dirt, the soil, the debris, concrete, and place it on there, bag it, and get it out of the containment. But when you're jackhammering up in somebody's floor, double protection on that uh, tile, whatever flooring it is, will go a long ways in protection and, and uh, again, not causing any damage, costing you money. When you're building a containment, we're big believers in the zip wall poles. Uh, this really helps with holding up the containments. Last thing you want is to do a demolition and have the containment walls fall. So this is just extra added uh, protection from keeping your, uh, your containment up. So here's our full containment, guys. Completely sealed. All right, and... Um, Really cool zipper door access so you can get in and out with your uh, jackhammer, all your tools, in and out. And then when you're cutting, you zip it back up. So it's a great, great feature to have on these uh, plastic walls. We're going to actually add two zipper door access because we've got large equipment like jackhammers and uh, the air scrubbers. So by adding these two zippers, it allows us uh, plenty of access. All right, so now we've got all the debris out. We've got our air scrubbers in place. We've got our zipper door that we've got prepped for access to get our tools. Okay, guys, if you have an outside door like this that's close to the work area, it takes a little bit more effort, but you can build a hallway type to the outside, and that serves a couple purposes. Uh, it gets all the dust to the outside, uh, gives your team some fresh air and uh, it takes you know all the dust to the outside as opposed to keeping it inside the plastic bubble hey guys another tip uh, when you have a wood threshold and you're coming in and out with concrete and tools you definitely want to cover that in a good way is again with a carpet that's waterproof it'll really protect that threshold coming into the work area Another thing, you guys, is 
protect the uh, wherever you're working and lay your tools out in an organized fashion. Customers see this, they absolutely subconsciously say, wow, this plumber knows what he's doing. He's well organized, he's protecting even my patio. Uh, so things like this can go a long ways on a job site with a customer. Again, when you have nice wood doors like this, you wanna take your plastic, and cover it, wrap it, giving that extra added protection, guys. All the way down to the floor. <laughs> All right guys, well now here we have a full containment ready to do the demolition. As you can see, absolutely no dust. And if we do get a little dust, we're gonna have it all the way to the outside.